Do you know what you're gonna have? Plain omelette. Okay. Hello. <laughs> we just started this. I'm like. I thought you were filming. No. Well. Okay, so what we're doing today is David and I are going to a wedding on Saturday. We are here because David has bought a suit and they were like tailoring it, fitting it to him. So we've just come to pick it up, well to try it on and see if it's right and pick it up if it is. If it's not, then I can just come back in on Friday because I'm here on Friday. The only thing I'm thinking is on the jacket, they didn't tailor it and you might want to have it just done. Yeah, I'll play it by ear anyway. Um, please, can I get the scrambled eggs with smoked salmon? Scrambled eggs, yes. Uh, and a Ladre coffee, please, with the milk on the side. Yes, thank you. Do you want water? Um, yeah, can we get a bottle of water as well, please? Yes, yeah, still, please. Can I film you? Do you mind? Look at this room. I think you've done this room before. Have I? earlier and I said to David we're at Harrods again oh. we're not gonna be here long though are we no we're gonna leave by three I've got a meeting later today so we're just like coming in quickly and then we're gonna go I wouldn't leave by three anyway because the traffic I did say to David I was like all you're gonna do is you're going gonna go in try it on and then come home and I was like do you really need me to come with you and you were like no, that's not true. You've got to change your shoes anyway. Oh, that's true. You yeah. know those shoes that I ordered? The These ones? I'm going to show you. I did this video where I showed you them. You know these ones? Anyway, after doing that video, I was editing. And on the side of the shoe box, it said a size 40. And I was like, that's, hang on a minute. I didn't order a 40, I ordered a 39. Went and looked in the box. They've given me a 39 and a 40. Harrods have meant to, on Sunday, they were like, oh, we'll phone you to book in, um, like a courier to change them over. I haven't heard anything, so I thought, well, I might as well do it myself. If you want something done, do it yourself. I suppose I could take them back. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Uh, demonstrate that, the sticky table. Hang sticky on. table. You see, it actually leaves. Yeah, yeah, my, I think mine does the same. I don't know why this table, look. This is the best coffee, you know. You've tried it, haven't you? It's really strong. This is smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Omelette with smoked salmon, and you've got... Omelette. I'm surprised you didn't do chips today. No, it's too early for chips. But <laughs> Look at this everyone, see that bag? That's part of the new winter collection. That is 11,000 pounds. 11, what would you put in it? Not a lot. Look at that little tiny one. What do you think of that? David just says, I'm about to get my butt kicked for filming. Hey, so we, we just went to Chanel. God, those guys, I tell you what, particularly on, oh, the bag won't close, particularly on the ground floor in Harrods, they're so hostile. I just don't get it. They're so unfriendly. Whereas if you go onto first floor, they're just lovely. Anyway, we've just come to Dior. David is waiting for his suit. Are you excited? Yeah, I just need to put a shoe. I thought I'd wear a dress today. And I got this one. Don't know how many of you remember, actually. I got this one from Alexander McQueen at Bista Village, and I've just put like a belt on with it. And I really liked it because I got it for such a good price. What were the ones that you tried on last time? Was it those? Yeah. I think it was. I seem to remember they were quite expensive. Nine thirty. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. So the way it works in Dior is um if you've bought one of these suits before, you're gonna know anyway. But um, you buy the trousers and then on the ends, can you see they look like that? There's no hem on them. So you try them on and it's all made for you and the same thing goes with the, with the jacket. I actually think Dior have totally stepped it up, particularly for men. And there is a new creative director in charge some of the stuff in case um i know i've got some guys that watch and equally for those of you ladies who maybe want to buy for a man there are quite a lot of nice accessories and even the casual stuff the clothing is really nice these are quite nice different things for for guys um and then over here okay those shirts are a little bit crazy but 
Look at these laptop cases. I'm hoping if you're a man and you're at all interested that this is helpful to you. Huh? Oh yeah. They are not, yeah that is nice. Seven? Eight? Eight, eight? Four. Four? Oh my god, that's out of order. The woman's version of that is like 800. I tried on the, a knitted version. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, it looks nice. We're just on our way there now. And we were saying that the ceremony starts at 3, but the evening thing does it start at six or seven six, six isn't it and we were saying that it's really hard to know what's going to go on in between the ceremony and the evening thing this is always the awkward thing about weddings i was saying that i went to this wedding years ago and we went to, we got invited to the ceremony and then that the bride and groom went off for lunch and everyone at the ceremony had to go and find a pub to sit in before the evening thing and remember it was like a bit a bit weird being sat in a pub really when you're dressed to go to a wedding it's also really hot today and i feel more sorry for you than i do for me because david's in a full-on suit mind you that you don't have to wear your jacket do you no no that's all right i tried to do the hair up thing and it really didn't work why is david what why is david driving the fiesta to a, wedding. to a wedding why is that why is that because just want to be casual he is so big and we've never been there before that is true, yeah. Madge had one of you the other day saying, why have you got these cars and then you've got a Fiesta and it's, it's pretty much for just casual days or days when you want to go and park in a multi-storey car park where they are just so so kind of like narrow. A lot of the really old multi-storey car parks like the ones in Guildford, swear to God, I think they were built in the 70s or 80s when cars were like narrower. Go and start it again. What do you want me to do? You're, you're, the, what you just said. Oh, um... This hat, I really like this. Can you believe this ad, This was in the sale? It's really nice. Like, check that out. And, yeah. Okay. You, <laughs> it's like a school photo. I'm trying my best here, guys. Um, <laughs> how do you feel? How do you feel? It's like an interview. How do you feel? I feel on top of the world. I like your suit. Yeah. It's really nice. And new shoes as well. Yeah. When when he went back to have it altered, they'd they taken the buttons off. off. They take it, so we had we had to send it back and get them to put them back on. I like the the line down the outside edge. I've had wine as well. <laughs> Hang on, where are we going? Are you sure we're meant to be up here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's had left. It's had left. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. My. <laughs> okay. I am currently stood on the top of a golf buggy. You can tell there's been some alcohol going on around here. My hat's come off as well. Oh my god. Do you know, I, I do like the wedding guests though. They're, they're up for having fun. Oh no, not that footpath. Please, not that footpath. I actually don't trust hold, her. Hold the camera No, I don't though. trust her. Yeah, go on. She's going to drive through the water. No, I'll make sure. No, she, no, she is. Water. No, the sprinkler over there, because you said to me you were going to... I'll just jump off the back if you do that. Yeah, exactly. These shoes are really... Do you ever get those days where everything is irritating you so badly, all you want to do is just like scream and punch someone in the face? I'm having one of those days. My legs look like I was the main course at a mosquito buffet last night. I've been invited to this event today, which is with Rolls Royce and also it is with this shoe brand. I must confess, I'd never heard of them. And when I clicked on the link for their website, I was like, wow, their stuff's really nice. I'm gonna link to it below, but I'm gonna show you some of their stuff here. And apparently they're sold in Harrods. So the plan is to go to that. But the thing is, the thing that has driven me mad today is how many of you have ever had to go to an event last minute and you look in your wardrobe and it's like, you've got lots of stuff, but you probably wear 20% of it. Actually, no, 10% of it. And I've made a vow that I am, where possible, I'm not gonna buy ASOS anymore. I have, I'm gonna show you. See down there? That is where, like, let me show you this, okay? Actually, correction, this is from Revolve. Look at this top. 
seriously look at this top do you know this was nearly 200 pounds i'm like i'm insulted this is zara quality it's not even nice the fit is terrible and this is what i find really frustrating is that with a lot of these brands the prices either go up or they remain the same and i swear the quality goes down and if you are tall or petite or you've got a bigger bust or something about you that means you don't fit mainline collections it is difficult it's so difficult so it's just been that frustration today and that i was trying to find something to wear and i was like i honestly have nothing nothing suitable anyway i've got like a million pairs of jeans and i've got loads of blazer jackets but i have nothing that is suitable i've got party dresses but i don't have anything formal so i've ended up wearing this which i got last year this is from self-portrait it's a little bit shorter than i'd like for this everything's a mess in here because i got really angry and started like i was like you fell over you could stay there anyway this is what i'm wearing and it is a bit shorter than i'd like but it's the only thing i've got why is that zoomed in hang on hang on hang on it's zoomed in no it's the wrong way oh there we go i've got to the event so this is with Aruna Seth and uh, Rolls Royce, and it's going to be a lunch. So background there. You're making me look like really bland. Your makeup. Rest right now. David and I have been invited by Christian Dior today to go to the Henley Regatta. It's like 30 degrees today. It is hot. <laughs> um, so I'm going to show you what I'm wearing. I've actually got three dresses and I'm just trying them on now. I'm going to make a decision then we're going to head. This is the first dress. Everything's from Karen Millen. I decided to go with them in the end because I've been looking and looking for something, couldn't find anything suitable and they were able to deliver to me last night at 10pm because um, I couldn't go out yesterday anyway because I was doing stuff. So um, here's the first one. I've also got a hat to wear. I'm going to wear the same one that I wore to the wedding that you saw earlier. Here is the next. I haven't done it up properly at the back. It's pretty, although David has just told me I look like a dental nurse and I kind of... I'm inclined to agree. The final dress that I've got is this, which I, d I, don't, I don't think I'm gonna like, but I'm gonna try it. I think so far I'm gonna go for the one with the gold bit around the neck. I mean, it's not, it's not so bad. I like the fact that it's quite loose at the bottom. This will be bigger because it's so hot, but I don't, I don't generally like it. And also I don't think it goes with these shoes. And these are the shoes that I wanna wear today. And I've got a, the bag that I wanna go with it. So I think I'm gonna go, with that white one right i'm in the car you know normally when you go out how it's like us girls who take time to get ready and it's always like the guys like come on now he's gonna kill me but david's always the last person out the house by quite a bit of time i think he's upstairs he's put on a shirt that he doesn't love and i think he's gone to change it or something i think the shirt he had on was actually really nice but you know um so the way this thing works today is it's done in settings. So 10.30 until 11.30 is just like get there, coffee and so on. It is actually 10.30 now. And um, we decided that because last night was so hectic, we didn't want to stress too much and end up rushing to get there so that's what we're doing and hopefully <laughs> depending when david gets out hopefully we will be there by 11 30. now 11 30 is when things kind of kick off really in in so much as there being champagne and canapes and then i think there's lunch at 12 noon how long have we been in this traffic like nearly two hours we are like two hours no what yeah two hours late nearly people are actually getting out of their cars and they're walking down the road let me show you you can see them along there henley is just there but it's it it's saying that that's going to take 40 minutes to get to the top of it i don't really know what to do because they're serving lunch 
at 12 and it's like five minutes past. Better late than never, hey? <laughs> oh my God. Is this how you go in? Apparently where we need to go is over there on that island and you have to wait for a boat to pick you up. The traffic around here today has been insane but the traffic on the river as well. Don't know how long we have to wait for it. Looking very yachting today. While I wait for the boat, I've just seen this. This is nice, isn't it? You know, as a rule, I don't actually generally love Aston Martin because, in my opinion, I feel like they're a little bit dated. Um, it kind of reminds me of the Jaguar. What is it? The XK, whatever it's called. It's nice. I quite like the colour of it. I think this one's like a limited edition of some description. Sorry, you guys, I literally know nothing about Aston. But it's got... Um, Here we go, it arrived. It's taken a while though actually. The other couple, they've been here um, about 30 minutes now, so it's taken a while, but here we go. This is gonna be fun in heels. No. Go up there, and then suddenly appear at the temple in the middle of the river. Okay. Okay. That's where you are. okay. Brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> we are on our way. Temple Island, absolutely beautiful place to be. I'm Felicity. I'm looking after you with my staff today. Okay. Um, the temple here is in the Etruscan Chapel, and we have a beautiful nature reserve which we're not allowed to go into. So we do have oh, champagne. or pims. I take a pims. Thank you. I did say I wasn't going to drink. Thank you. Please mind your head, but do okay. take a look at the Etruscan Chapel. Oh, brilliant. Lunch hasn't started. Oh, no. Oh, good. It said 12. Yes, no, that's fine. Oh, phew. I feel really bad now. I've, like, dragged... <laughs> made everyone late. <laughs> what I'm really relieved about is apparently, well, we already know the traffic's been bad. The traffic has been so bad that Dior themselves left London at 9 this morning and got here at 12.30 most people aren't here yet so lunch was meant to be served at 12 they have not served it yet because they're waiting for everyone to turn up i'm so relieved because i hate being late that's my thing in life i can't stand that i feel like it's rude and um you know even though there's nothing i could do about it i felt really stressed about it so i'm just relieved that it's been the same for everyone but let me just show you so this is temple island i was trying to film when we got off the boat there was that lady who was telling us what the island's about and like in the comments tell me what this is they were talking about eggs they were like you've got to do something with an egg i don't know what that means anyway see <laughs> he's like yes look at this beautiful lavender down here it's really nice so apparently this is where the boat race starts from i'm gonna point with my pins everywhere i go and then it goes down there and then it finishes like you can't even see it right at the end where henley is so that apparently is the temple well, what's that on the top i don't know it looks like a telescope doesn't it i'm not sure what that is over there th that's Anne lee over there i'm gonna film him later <laughs> he's so nice he's loads of fun i said that i wasn't gonna drink today i'm just gonna have one and a water. Didn't you need the ladies? I mean the gents. Yeah, where is that? It's in there. Before everyone takes their seats to eat, I just wanted to come in here and show you this room and how it's been decorated and how it looks. I know that I'm always interested in these sorts of things. So I just wanted to show you the menu, which is this. And then what have we got? Oh my God, scampi and chips. You cannot beat that. And then over here, this is the itinerary, which is, of, as you know, it's gone out of the window because so many people aren't here yet. Do you want to play croquet? What do you want me to do? Just be yourself. Just be myself. Yeah. If you want to show off, show off. Show off. <laughs> right. We're at the Privé, Normal. Temple Island, the Dior. Right, introduce yourself. Introduce I'm yourself. Josh. Josh from Dior. Josh from Dior. Really? And you're joining us at the Temple Island Privé. We're about to, and play, we're about to croquet. play croquet. Hang on, what colour are you going to be? That's like a rhyme. 
I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do yellow. Right. What are the two colours in the middle? I don't know. Oh, yes. Hello, how do you do? I'm Chris. David, how Good you doing? You, and you? Hello. Sophie, isn't it? Sophie, nice yeah. to meet um, you. Um, thank you. Do you know how to play? Choose um, a colour. <laughs> It's strawberry, I think. Like strawberry cheesecake. It looks nice. It's like ice cream. Right, we're just on our way over because there's going to be a little Dior boat excursion up and down. Somebody's brave enough to, to go. Okay, so what we're doing at the moment is we're about to go on the second boat trip and we're waiting for the the guy who, what, the sailor guy, <laughs> whatever he's called. We are, we're basically waiting for him because he helps you on board. What's really funny is the guys are like, I don't want to get on first, the man has to help me on. Here he is. No, no, it's Oh, that's them from earlier. <laughs> Why are they going so slow? Why have they stopped? It's a bit visual. What, the guy, the, driver. the guy driving? I grew up going to the beach every summer. There is the other Dior boat. I don't know how they got in front of us. Have you zoomed in? No, okay. I promise. I'm I being just, sensible because you need content. Yeah, I do. I was just saying to David that it just it feels so surreal today. It's been such a beautiful day. But and it's so different to what we normally do. It's work, work, work. She'll kill you. No, I know. It's a secret garden. It says nature reserve, no admittance. But why don't they lock the gate if they don't want anybody in there? I don't know. There's like wires going in there. Yeah. I'm just filming her outfit. Turn around. What's it now? 2 0. Have you won? Have you won? Oh, well done. Oh, I didn't play, huh? <laughs> no, I know, but it's good. You won? Yeah. It's actually. good for the country. <laughs> <laughs> Again, we, we had lunch, we went on the boat trip, and now we're back, and it's afternoon tea. I'm so full already. A lot of people are saying that here. Oh, yeah. Hey, everyone, we are leaving Dior Island now. It's you can see it actually in the distance. Yeah, it's been really good. It's been really good. A bit hot at times. It has been quite hot. 